I built a desk and I experimented with some draw slides. Those are dowels. This is my finished product for the Instagram Builders Challenge. So I did not make the plans for this desk. They were drawn out by DOI Huntress and everybody had to make their own modifications on the build. These are my modifications. I decided to play around with the draw slides and make it a little playful and fun and use these dowels. This was really easy to do using some router bits from MLCS Woodworking, the sponsor of today's video. Let's get started. I started this build by milling up some ash for the desk top, which is always a fun process. I decided to use some biscuits to help with the alignment during the glue up, and I don't have a biscuit joiner, so I had to use the router table. So I marked off either side of the biscuit on my boards, then lined up the right edge of the biscuit with the right end of the slot cutting bit, made a mark, the left edge of the biscuit with the left edge of the slot cutting bit, and made another mark. Then all I had to do was line up the lines I made on the board with the lines I made on the fence to do a plunge cut, and then I created the perfect size slot for the biscuits. I continued making the rest of the slots and this process went super quick and super smooth onto the glue up. Even though I used the biscuits for alignment, I still wanted to be able to send these boards through the planer after glue up. So I did this glue up in two stages since my planer can only fit boards that are about 12 inches wide. So only the two outer pieces were glued here, the middle seam was not glued yet. I set it into clamps overnight to dry and then when I took it out of clamps, I could then send those two halves through the planer to even them up. And then I repeated the same process with the biscuits to glue the middle. And that way I only had to worry about really like sanding down and leveling out one seam. Moving on to the base, it's all going to be made out of some two by twos. So I have this eight quarter piece of ash that I made all the pieces out of. I ripped them down at the table saw and after cutting a bunch of pieces, I was able to send them through the planer to make sure that they were even on all sides. After the glue on the top dried, I was able to take it out of clamps and then cut it to its final length. I did this on the cross cut sled on my table saw and I made sure when I was putting the biscuits in that they would not be where I was making this cut. Now that the top was cut to its final dimensions, I was able to mark out where I needed to cut all the two by twos. I do this all on my crosscut sled. First, I make sure that one end is completely square. I check all sides to make sure it's looking good. Then I could flip the piece around and cut it to its final length. Then I repeated the same process on the rest of the two by two pieces. And after everything was cut to size, it was time to figure out how the dowel slides were going to work. I lined up the pieces that were going to have the dowel slide placed into them. And I used some spacers that were the same size as the stretchers to make sure that I was putting these marks in the right places. Now that all the locations were marked out, I had to figure out how to cut it. So I'm using half inch dowels, and I figure that if I clamp the two boards together and use a half inch Forstner bit and drill right at the center where the boards meet, it would create two perfect half circles when I separate the boards. So I was right, it worked. The only problem is that this didn't leave much wiggle room for the draw. So I decided to test with some spacers in between the two boards and see how that worked out. On my second attempt, I figured out that the perfect size was an eighth inch piece of plywood to use as the spacer. That way, when I make the draw, there's a perfect spacing, a perfect gap between the two boards and the two half circles on the leg and the draw are going to be completely even. So I continued drilling the holes for the rest of the dowels and then when I unclamped them, everything was looking really great. I wanted to make sure that all the holes were perfectly even. So I put some sandpaper on the dowel that I was going to be putting in the holes and I cleaned them up and flushed them all up. Moving on to the joinery, all of my brain power was being used to making sure that these draw slides were functional. So I went with something simple. The whole base is just going to be assembled with screws and to make marking out locations for those screws easier, I made this jig. I only had to measure onto this jig one time where the screw locations will go. After tapping with a hammer, I then had the perfect locations for where to pre-drill for all my holes. After marking everything out, I was able to pre-drill and countersink for all the holes and then it was time for assembly. The first step in the assembly was to attach the two sides of the desk. So I put on some glue and then put the pieces into these corner clamps, which really helped keep the pieces held at a right angle to make sure that everything was really square. I used other pieces from the build as a reference for where the lower side stretcher should go and then clamped everything and glued it all into place. After both of these side pieces were done, I was able to move on to connecting the two of them with the long stretchers. When marking out for the whole locations for the stretchers, I had to make sure that they weren't gonna run into the screws that I had already driven in. 
So I took that same jig that I used before and I just flipped it on its side to mark out all the hole locations in the opposite direction. Then I pre-drilled and countersunk all those holes and went through the same process as before with gluing and screwing together using this corner clamp to help make everything go just a little bit smoother. Once the top stretcher was attached, I was able to bring it down to the floor and attach the bottom stretcher once again using other pieces from the build as spacers for where to perfectly place all my pieces. I continue to lock down the rest of the pieces with glue and screws using this corner clamp and this whole assembly process went so smoothly. After it was assembled, I was able to mark where I should cut the dowels. So I took them over to the miter saw, making sure to clamp it since it's a round object and I cut them off to size and then glued them into place. But if you notice in this cut, there's a lot of end grain. So I was a little bit nervous that this glue joint was not so strong. So I decided to reinforce it. To mark the center of the dowels for the screws that I was going to use as the reinforcement, I made this jig, similar to the one that I made previously in the video. I just drove some nails in the center of one of those test cuts that I also made earlier. And that way it would perfectly mark the center of the dowel for pre-drilling the holes. So I pre-drilled and countersunk all the holes and then locked it into place with some screws. After the dowels were secured, I was able to flush them up to the frame with this saw, and then I had to plug up all of the holes. I put some glue in the holes, and then I tapped in some oak dowels, and then I cut them flush, but this round object, I can't really cut flush with a saw, so it was very easy to just clean up the cut with a block plane afterwards, and then I just refined it a bit more with my chisel. And I continued the same process throughout the rest of the table. I put some glue in, put the oak dowels in, tap them in and cut them flush and then flush them up more with the chisel. I decided to use oak because I felt like it was the most similar wood grain to the ash. And I think it looks pretty cool. And if you look closely at the dowels, you'll see that I made sure that all of the grain direction was facing the same way. And that really adds a nice touch to it, but I might have a slight case of OCD. After the base was complete, I could build the draws. So I've made a whole separate video on building these draws. I'll put a link somewhere down below so you guys can check that out. They're pretty basic, simple draws. And based on my test cuts earlier, I figured out that they needed to be built a half inch smaller than the draw opening. Because I used the eighth inch spacer on the legs, there's also gonna be another eighth inch on the draw. So that's a total of a quarter inch on either side of the draw. So that equals a half inch total. Sorry for all the math. In order to make the grooves in the side of the draws that are going to run on the dowel, I used a one inch core box bit on the router table. I did some test cuts to make sure that it was running dead on center of the draws. And I did multiple passes until I got to the perfect depth. I made this depth stop based on how deep the grooves were on the side of the leg. After every pass, I would take the pieces over to the desk base just to see if I was on the right track. And after a few passes, it fit so well and I was so happy. <laughs> I really wanted the dowel slides to be the showcase on the desk. So instead of using hardware for poles, I decided to make some cutouts in the draw front. So in order to make all those cutouts the same, I made this template. After rough cutting it on the drill press and bandsaw, I took it to the bench top sander to refine it and make it completely smooth. I marked a center line on the draw front and I marked a center line in the center of that cutout. And then I could line up those two pieces together to make it perfectly centered on the draw. And then I used a flush cut trim bit in my handheld router to make the cuts. This is always a crazy messy process. So I was able to take this template and put it on all three of the draws so that the cutouts were all perfectly even. Moving on, I'm going to be painting these draws and I assembled them with screws. So I needed to plug up those screw holes. So I decided to make these poplar plugs so that it would be easier to paint. I glued them into place and then cut them flush with a Ryoba saw and then sanded them a little bit cleaner. Then I took the draws over to the router table and used a small round over bit to just perfectly round over all of the edges. Now they were ready for paint, but I didn't record myself painting. I finished the rest of the desk with Rubio Monocoat Pure, which is really easy to use and it's no VOC, but I think it just looks a little bit too orange. I think maybe I should have used their natural color or maybe their white color, I'm not sure. After it dried, I was able to attach the top to the base. I use these figure eight tabletop fasteners because they're really easy to use and they allow for wood movement. After making sure there was a perfect overhang on all sides, I just had to lock it all down with screws and it is done. 
I am super excited with how this turned out. I had this idea rolling around in my brain for a while now, and I'm really happy to see that it works really, really well, and it was super easy to do. I'm so happy with how these are sliding. They're like super smooth. Only problem, they go past where they're supposed to go, and they could be completely pulled out. So I have an idea to make a stop that will keep it where it's supposed to be and prevent it from being pulled out. But I ran out of time this week for that, for this video. Hopefully I can get that done next week for you guys to see how that process works. I've done it before on a previous project and it works out pretty great. So overall, I love the design of the desk. I love the color, I love the dowel slides. I think I just might have gone a tad bit overboard on the dowel theme here. And I think these exposed dowels make it just a little bit too busy, just my opinion. I think next time if I do this kind of design, I would do some hidden joinery so that it's not so busy. So thank you so much again to MLCS Woodworking for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next project. Mommy. Yeah. Have more toys in this. Oh my goodness. Do you think that's gonna fit? Yeah. In this drawer. In this drawer there's toys. Okay, what else? I'll get more toys. Okay. Is like some of these look or maybe yes all. Yeah, all. I hope these fit. What's gonna go on your bookshelf? Homework. Oh, okay. Mm, what should I put in there? Hmm. Pencils. Some pencils. Ooh, pencils is a good idea. I got four pencils. Four pencils? Now I'm ready to... So where's the chair? <laughs> I have to buy one. I didn't buy one yet. Could I get one downstairs? You can now carry a chair up from downstairs? Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. But I can. I know you can. I just don't think it's a good idea. But I want it. Please don't. Good for your homework? Yep. Yep. And this is why we need to add the stops. Oh, I'll get on that. <laughs>